Hey everyone, in this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to create this cool motion graphic animation in After Effects. So grab the free project file from the link in the description below and follow me along. So without any further ado, let's get started. So firstly create a new composition and let's call it as main. I will choose the preset of 1920 by 1080 pixels and with the frame, frame rate of 30 frames per second and the duration of 10 frame or oh sorry 10 seconds. And for the background color, let's, let's set to black, hit OK and hit OK again. Now let's make our shape. So grab the rectangle tool. You can go with the rounded rectangle tool. I will go with the regular rectangle tool. And make sure the fill is set to the linear gradient color. And the stroke is turned to solid color with the white color set to it. And now let's make a shape in the center. Something like this. Perfect. Firstly, let's align it in the center of the composition and in the shape properties, let's set the roundness to around 30. So our shape will look like this and for the stroke width, let's set the stroke width to around 3 pixels. It's enough. Yeah. Now let's quickly rename it as main shape. Now quickly let's add our text, grab the text type tool and type any text you want. Let's type get started with ai select the text let's go for the Montserrat semi bold font you can choose your desired font let's set the text size to around 52 pixels let's align it again in the center of the composition make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text let's align it a little like right of the frame something like this perfect now let's make uh, these star shapes which you can see the ai so grab the star tool from the shape tools and make sure the fill is set to the solid color and you can choose the color white hit ok and turn off the stroke and now holding shift let's make a perfect star like this and now let's in the shape properties let's set the points of the star to 4 and adjust the inner radius to around maybe 5 or 6 let's set it to 6 and increase the outer radius something not too much let's go with 13 so our shape will look like this let's quickly rename it as star shape hit s to open the scale properties and increase the size of it little bit and let's align it here near the text something like this and let's align it vertically to get aligned with the text make sure the anchor point is in the center of the shape now hit ctrl d to make a duplicate of it and holding shift and right arrow keys let's align it or let's adjust it something here and hit s to open the scale properties and decrease the scale size little bit something around here i think it's look good holding shift select both the star shape layers and let's holding shift or holding right arrow keys or left arrow keys align it like this now it's looking good now quickly let's add a drop shadow to our text and shape select the text let's drop an effect called drop shadow effect and in the drop shadow set the opacity to around 10 percent and set the distance to around 4 and set the softness to around maybe 5 and right click copy and holding shift select both the star shape layers and hit ctrl v to paste the same effect to both the star shape layers and boom we are done and now it's time to animate this shapes so one by one let's animate it let's turn off all the layers except the main base shape layer so select the base shape layer let's zoom out our composition a little bit like this Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. Select the shape layer. Hit 
P on your keyboard to open the position properties make a keyframe on position and hit T to open the opacity properties make a keyframe on opacity now hit U to open the same two properties again and make make sure the playhead is around one frame forward and I make again the two keyframes and now get back to the beginning of the timeline and let's set the vertical position of our shapes something like this and decrease the opacity back to zero percent so let's say easy ease hit f9 for easy ease and now let's choose a graph something like this and now our shape will look like this perfect let's quickly animate our text turn on the text layer and now let's animate from here where the shape comes expand the text properties let's quickly hit u to hide these shape properties expand the text properties and click on animate go to select position again click on add go to property and select the opacity property again click on add go to property and select the blur property blur property and now let's set the position like horizontal something like this set the opacity to 0% and set the blur value around 25% now expand the range selector properties expand the advanced properties and increase the ease high or too much something around 21% and increase the ease low something around 50 to 60% maybe and now set the based on it manually selected two characters set it to words and now let's animate it click on this stopwatch of offset to make a keyframe and move the playhead to something around 1.15 frame and set the offset value to 100 percent so our text will animate like this let's see our animation perfect let's quickly make it a little wider hit f9 to easy ease the keyframes perfect now it's time to animate our shapes so star shapes so hit u to hide all the properties and let's on the one frame something here select all the both the shape star shape layers and turn on the layers now holding shift select both the star shape layer hit s to open the scale properties make a keyframe on the scale properties hit t to open the opacity properties and make a keyframe on opacity properties now again hit u to see both the properties now may move the playhead to something around uh, one one frame forward maybe and again make another keyframes by clicking on this little keyframes icon now get back to the first keyframe set and let's decrease the opacity or oh sorry scale to zero and set the opacity to zero now let's see our animation select the both keyframes or let's select the keyframes and i'm using the bouncer plugin or a script you can use the manual expression for the bounce effect let's select the selected and and set the expression to overshoot and click on bounce it and it will apply the bounce effect select this keyframes click on bounce and that's so it will give this effect let's quickly offset the above keyframes a little bit and it will give a cool effect perfect now give, we will give a go back animation so hit u select the shape layer main base shape layer hit u to see the keyframes and now we have our animation want to end uh, something around 2.15 frame maybe holding shift select all the layers hit u to see the keyframes for all the layers and by clicking on these little keyframe icons let's make all the keyframe for each layer now move the playhead to something around three frame forward and select the first keyframe so the first layer hit ctrl c to copy and hit ctrl v 
to paste the keyframe and just like this repeat the process for each layer perfect let's see our animation so we want to the text and shape gets animated back first and the shape gets back afterwards so select the shape layers or keyframes and just drag it at the three frame something like this and now our text get back and then our shape gets back to its previous position perfect now move the player to around this frame and holding shift select all the layers hold alt and right bracket to cut the layers or delete the layers and hit n to open the phrase properties and hit u to hide all the keyframes and at last let's give it a cherry on top S click on this motion blur icon to give it a motion blur effect and our effect look like this perfect yeah now let's add some effects to our shape layer select the main base shape layer and let's apply a deep glow effect you can use the regular glow effect let's decrease the radius to around 100 let's decrease the exposure to 0 0.02 maybe and now let's increase the radius a little bit perfect let's increase the exposure a little bit not too much let's decrease the radius a little bit now it's looking good yeah now let's add a background for this go to layer new and select the solid layer let's call it as bg for background and now choose the any color you want hit ok hit ok and drag it beneath all the layers and let's drop an effect called gradient ramp effect you can go with a four color gradient option and let's choose a little bit darker color for this something like this perfect let's also split this layer too select this layer hold alt and right back it and finally let's see our animation awesome like share comment subscribe this youtube channel and till then i will see you in the next video